to give you a little background, the Pinkathon, which is India's biggest women's run, now in its eighth year, having had almost half a million women participate over the last eight years, and 51 editions so far, has been encouraging women not only to run across the country, in many, many cities, but to take out some time for themselves every day from their very, very busy schedules and on their numerous, innumerable, every year. One of the insights that we had from Pinkathon was that women, once they start to take care of their own health and begin to realize their potential and to create new dreams for themselves that they need to have bigger challenges. They look forward to bigger challenges. And so even though Pinkathon started with the 3 kilometers, the 5 kilometers and the 10 kilometers, this year we also had our first edition of the Pinkathon 100 kilometers. So even the women who started with 3 kilometers and 5 kilometers, eventually they did the half marathon and the full marathon and then they were looking at even distances like 100 kilometers. And also the spirit of Pinkathon event, which is a 150 kilometer event between two cities that women run across three days. And the oldest participant in the spirit of Pinkathon so far, 150 kilometers over three days, is 69. Which just goes to show really that there are no limits. If there are any limits, it is only the limits that we impose upon ourselves. So through Pinkathon, the messages that we want to give out are one, that you are important, you must value yourself, and you are unstoppable. You are limitless. So the Pinkathon has grown tremendously. In fact, we had Pinkathon Day last year, and Pinkathon Day this year as well in October, we announced it. Because many towns and cities across the country said, why can't we have Pinkathon? They really related to the message they wanted to spread in their towns and in their cities, and they said, why can't you bring Pinkathon to our town? And we said, why can't you do Pinkathon? Being stationary was my job. I started to give myself a kind of a push wherein um, I saw that there was a 10k event happening in the city and I thought I'd give it a go. I know it was extremely, extremely challenging initially, but I think the 10k distance could suit any woman, any woman. It just needs 40 minutes of your time, say maybe three days a week, and I don't think that's too much for any woman to take time out and dedicate it to herself. And uh, competition, of course, uh, you know, it's just to set a goal for yourself to see that you wake up every day and achieve what you've targeted for that one particular day and just head out there and go out there and compete with yourself and achieve higher goals. Thank you. Whatever I've registered, I'm going to finish it off. And my husband and children who are pretty strong runners, they do uh, 30, up to 30 k's. They sort of felt that after they finished their run, they could go and have their breakfast and then they'll come and cheer me and all that. So by the time they started their breakfast, I was already there. So they were very shocked. They said, how did you do it? I said, I don't know, I just did it. So now that I've done it, I'm not going to give it up. Uh, so that's how I started with 10k and I'm going to be sticking to 10k. I've got a vision of doing a 21k sometime. <laughs> I had actually uh, uh, registered for the Sunday at the GK week, but uh, I'm not running that, I'm traveling to Kanchipura. Uh, but in terms of what competition means to me, being a cancer survivor, to me, uh, competition is a competition against cancer. So to all of us who have gone through cancer, the recurrence is something which is very scary. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm ahead of cancer. And I think that is where my fitness mantra and my running mantra helps me. Um, I'm sure with this, I'm going to be staying ahead. Thank you.
you know, the Super Women 10K, which is a which is a women only 10 kilometer run, which we're going to have on Nice Road in Bengaluru on the 15th of March. And what we have is age groups, uh, an age group women's event for the first time, and starting from uh, 30 plus right up to women in the 80s, they will be running uh, 10 kilometers and competing uh, in 10 kilometers. And we have a lot of prizes for each age group. I think up to the 10th place. And if somebody comes close to the national record, then there will be a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees. Is there any charity angle to it? Uh, there will be because we have a foundation so we are always doing uh, projects in different uh, cities uh, which is around menstruation generally about around menstrual health uh, but we don't really talk about it during the event at the event we will talk about it but when we what our, our messages here are equally important you know that we want women to take take out some time for themselves to be healthy to be fit we want women who are even in uh, older age groups to understand they can still dream big they want to achieve something they want to compete they want to win uh, then there is an event that can help them to achieve that dream. So there are many things and as you, as you can see we've made it very inclusive to show that even if a woman is comfortable only in a sari, she can still run, she can compete. If a woman is in a wheelchair, she can compete. If she's uh, visually impaired, she can compete. Cancer survivors, baby wearing mothers, no woman should be left out thinking this is not for me. Minimum age is uh, 19 to 29. That is the open age group. Then the age group starts from 30 to 34. Then 35 to uh, 35 to 39. Then 40 to 44, and on till 80 plus. Till, till wherever. Uh, the mascot of Pinkathon, as I said earlier, is 104 years old.